You see this guy here? That is alternating current, AC. And this other guy, his brother, direct current. Since the late 1880s, there have been numerous comparison battles amongst them. Today, we are looking at which is more dangerous, AC voltage or DC voltage. Before I proceed with the video, I would advise not to mess with any of these guys, but for comparison's sake, we shall look at them. Now, at very high voltages, both AC and DC will injure you very badly. So let's start with pretty low voltages. When comparing AC and DC voltages of the same value, AC is more dangerous. Let's say we are taking a voltage of 50 volts. DC is constant, so 50 volts is 50 volts throughout. But considering AC on the other hand, that's 50 volts is the RMS value. So we are looking at a maximum value of 70.7 .7 volts. That makes AC more dangerous. We are continuing. Should anyone get electrocuted by either AC or DC? When it is DC, the voltage remains constant, so it is not going to reduce for you to feel the ease of releasing yourself. For AC, it varies from zero to the maximum value, back to zero, to the minimum value, back to zero, and the cycle continues. So in the case of AC, one may feel a little relieved when the voltage gets to the point of zero. But even that is difficult because this cycle happens so fast about 50 times per second and in some countries like the USA it is 60 times per second. So after all we can conclude that AC is more dangerous than DC. But if we say AC is more dangerous it doesn't mean DC will play with you. Stay away and don't trust both of these guys. Thank you very much for watching the video. I believe you learned something. See you again in the next video. Bye.